you wake up at 1 p.m. in the afternoon and the first thing you do is you grab your phone and you start scrolling on TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever. Wasting your life, wasting your time, wasting your energy. And most importantly, wasting the day. What are you doing with your life? You promise yourself that you're going to be disciplined this year, this month, this day. But you aren't. Instead, you jerk off and start scrolling on social media, wasting time on social media, on Snapchat. What are you doing with your life? Why are you wasting your time? Because there are better things that you can do. You can become that disciplined guy. You can become that productive guy. If you listen to this video carefully, because I'm going to tell you how to become that disciplined and productive guy. But before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about something else. By clicking the top link in the description down below, you can join my community, Productive Chats, in which you'll get bonuses such as one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with me, a one-on-one -on -one private chat, chat with me, and many other resources such as ebooks, video courses, motivation posters, and productivity templates. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description down below, the first one. And if you click, go to my website, which is the link, you'll also get a code in that which you can add on checkout when you go to sign up for my community to get 50% off at half the price. Just enter that code to get it at half the price. The code is I am Chad. The code is I am Chad. Okay. So don't forget to en enter that code at checkout to get 50% off. And if you want more productivity insights just like this in your inbox every single day, click the second link in the description down below to subscribe to my daily email newsletter to get more productivity insights just like this in your inbox every single day. So if you're interested in that, click the second link in the description down below. So the secret to discipline and productivity that I'm talking about today is monk mode. This is a buzzword around the productivity community going around and I think all the advice there is bullshit. And this is the only monk mode version you need, nothing else. Let's first clear out the basics. So basically monk mode is a period of intense work. Period of intense work, you take no rest, you just keep working, working and working, preferably for 21 days. Or else you'll get burnt out like more than 28 days. I'm currently on a mock mode for 28 days and I'm seeing many results and I'm working super hard. So mock mode works really well. So there are basically three components to building your own mock mode protocol. So let's start with the first one. The first component of building your mock mode protocol is non-negotiables, setting up non-negotiables. What are non-negotiables? Non-negotiables are the habit that you have to do every single day, no matter what. So, for example, your non-negotiables may be no sugar throughout the mock mode or exercise every single day or read 10 pages of a book every single day. Those can be your non-negotiables. So that's how you build non-negotiables. So basically what you're going to do, I'm going to tell you artistically how to do all this. Take a notebook. Take a pen, open up a fresh page, write down monk mode for July. I think it's July for you now. So, and then you write non-negotiables. Write down all the non-negotiables that you have to adhere to. No sugar, working out every single day, reading 10 pages every day, working six hours every single day, whatever. Write it down. Because when you write things down, your brain will get used to it and will know that I have to get this done. There's a proper power connected to writing things down. So don't forget to write your non-negotiables down on a piece of paper. The second component that you need to build your own monk mode protocol is creating goals and creating reasonable goals that you can achieve during the period of monk mode. So again, take a notebook, take a pen, give the heading, my goals for monk mode. Now, I want you to write two to three goals that you want to achieve throughout this monk mode. At the end of this monk mode, I want this and this and this and this and that. There. All these things, all the things that you want to get done. For example, 
I want to get to 100 subscribers this month, 100 Instagram followers this month. I want to write, I want to write 100 pages of my book this month. I want to work out. I want to get jacked this month. I want to get bulk up to 65 kilograms this month. Whatever. Write two to three goals on the piece of paper so you know that this, these are the things that I have to achieve at the end of this month mode. And keep reminding yourself of these goals and preferably take the paper and stick it on a wall. So whenever you enter your room, you know that these are my goals and I have to achieve them. So the last and final component of building a really good monk mode protocol for you is building a daily schedule. Now, building a daily schedule doesn't have to be complex. Oh, I have to add time for drinking water, for fucking waking up, for fucking brushing my teeth. You don't have to be autistic with it. In monk mode, it's just simple. Work, work, work. No matter what. All your energy should be concentrated on working. That is the point of monk mode. The only thing you do is work and grind every single day. So, here are some things that you have to keep in mind while building your daily schedule. Preferably wake up in the morning, especially if you have school, two hours before two hours before school you can wake up and get the most important task of the day done. Don't add time for breakfast because breakfast is gonna destroy your destroy your mind because all the energy that you have to concentrate towards work is, is going towards digesting your breakfast. So it's not worth it at all. Don't add time for breakfast. And other thing that you can keep in mind, add the time for working out and work for more than six plus hours a day. I prefer that. Work for more than six plus hours a day. Add the time to read a book and uh, yeah, go to sleep early. These are the things that you have to keep in mind while building the monk mode schedule for you. So those were the three components of building a really good monk mode protocol. And I really hope that your monk mode goes really well and yeah, I'm sharing for you from over here. Click the first link in the description down below to join my community on 50% off by adding the promo code I am Chad. And you will also get bonuses such as one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, a one-on-one -on -one private chat with me. All these resources just for 50 bucks a month. That's it. That's the price of fucking eating outside. And then click the second link in the description down below. To subscribe to my daily email newsletter to go to get more productivity insights just like this in your inbox every single day so if you're interested in that click the second link in the description down below thank you for watching and remember action over words